Okay, all right, all right. Hey you guys, I am super sorry about that. I believe there's been some kind of an update. Um, there's been kind of, some kind of an update on Facebook and so I couldn't even go live from the computer. So hey you guys, I hope you're gonna find me. Oh good, someone's starting to find me. I'm Jill Hoyra. Hi you guys, <laughs> the psychic healer. It's not even Mercury retrograde yet and yet it seems like it is. All right, how is it now? Good, better? You can see me, you can hear me. <laughs> Jeez. All right, thank you guys. I'm so glad you're here. Um, it's way more fun talking when you're there than talking myself. So um, I just wanted to welcome you all to Zap It Up. <laughs> and um, so I was getting some niggles that we we're gonna be doing something different today or adding something. And so I couldn't figure out what it was. Of course, they always tell me later. So I just was like, okay, I'm gonna wait and you tell me so you guys I just was reading my Elizabeth Peru you know I love her energy reports every week and she's talking about Jupiter which is the planet um, for abundance and luck and good fortune and I was like oh we're bringing in Jupiter today so whether you're doing any intention setting on abundance we've got our trusted citrine here and we're going to use that and we are going to uh, help that with our zap and we are going to also use um, Jupiter so that'll be kind of fun we'll see how it goes so it's Jupiter retrograde until I think oh, okay I don't even know I'm not going to quote it but I'll do a post on it later okay so where's everybody at let's do a little check-in with um, how we're doing if we need any kind of energy release etc so tell me how things have been going for everybody I know some places are opening back up a little bit um, we're doing phases here I don't really know I'm not really um, paying attention <laughs> to some extent so hold on hold on you guys I didn't, I didn't turn off my notes okay or am I back no oh you know what you're on um, you're on the laptop is that maybe you're f I don't really hear the laptop fan is anybody else hearing that You are sitting right on the computer, so maybe that's part of the problem. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Jeez. I bet it's because the, the I'm I'm propping the phone up on the computer. So you're probably hearing the fan of the fan <laughs> computer. Now I need a new strategy. Okay, let me, tell me if you still, if you hear the fan now still. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Terry. Hi, Katie. Hi, Carmelie. Hi, Esther. <laughs> okay, Gay's here. Hi, guys. All right. How, how's the sound now? Because you're, you're on a little pad of paper, but you're, the phone is still on the back of the computer or on the computer monitor. So tell me what you're getting. Tell me how you're hearing it, if you're hearing it. And you can let me know if you hate the background because, well, it's going to be different. It's not how you're supposed to be viewing it on the video. It's supposed to be more like this. But um, I was just tired of sitting on the floor, so I had to do it this way. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Cindy's saying we're opening up. Hi, Cindy. We're opening up in stages a little at a time until all will be open by July 4th if it goes as planned and more outbreaks do not occur. Yep, just went to the grocery store and ground beef from $2 a pound $1 a pound. Oh my goodness. Lorraine is hearing fine. Oh good, the pad of paper makes it perfect. Okay, awesome, Katie. Thank you. All right, so um, I can't even remember I'm a little bit scattered now from this so let me just let's take a couple deep breaths and I'm going to kind of start over a little bit <laughs> so a um, couple deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth we are pulling in Jupiter retrograde energy Jupiter is all about um, luck good fortune uh, abundance and all of that we're going to be using our citrine and 
Okay, good. Sound is good? Good. Okay, thanks, guys. So let's start. Okay, so if I'm getting the sense, like, do we need to do a clearing? It seems to me like everybody's feeling pretty good. Are you feeling pretty good? I feel like there's been a little bit of a wave of, like, we're getting used to it. I heard something. Oh, it was the Lee Harris Energy Report. You guys, I love those. It totally explained my blown up friendships um, this past, gosh, since January, that all just came to a head and officially ended uh, over the last couple weeks. And he made some really good points in his May energy report that I finally listened to. So if you want to get the inside scoop on the energetic stuff that's going on, check it out. Lee Harris Energy on YouTube. And... Um, uh, one of the things he was talking about was acceptance. If you are struggling and pushing against this whole thing that's going on, you know, I don't ever say the word, like the whole world event, and you're feeling very unsettled and very un uncentered, uh, worried, all of that stuff, we did do a healing for that. But try accepting it instead is what he said. And I really liked that. Um, so if... If you are struggling with that, try it. Just try it. See what happens. Just notice how you feel. Um, because instead of pushing against it, there's going to be a flow. There will be a flow instead. Hi, Brianna. Lorraine has been on the path of healing. Okay, everybody's telling me my sound is good. Cool. So I don't, I'm not getting the sense that we need to start with an, a healing today. So scream out if you think I'm wrong. <laughs> and then nextly, let's go ahead and tap in a little bit to, I'm going to start pulling in the citrine energy. So if you're not working on an intention of abundance or money or anything, that is perfectly fine. This is going to be something that is what I'm being shown. It's, it's like a, an undercurrent for what we're doing. It's a little bit more of a foundation and it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with our actual zap it up for intentions. So we're just kind of getting a double whammy today. Hi, Callie. So uh, tell me how you feel about that. <laughs> how do you feel about that? So let's start thinking about what we want to create in our life and what that could look like. So I've been talking nonstop since the beginning of the year about the open possibilities, the infinite possibilities, the... Um, the, just the things that are out there ready for us to imagine and have an idea about and then implement and put into play, put into practice, um, incorporate it into our life, etc. So, um, Kelly says, it seems like your words are slower than what I see. Is anybody else having that problem? Hi, Susan. So good to have you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. That could be my connection or your connection, I suppose. I should double check and make sure I have enough power. Okay. So let's go ahead and tap into, you know, start coming up with what do we want to manifest? What is it that we want to manifest? Let's start putting our intentions out there. If you want to share them in the comments, you can. If you... Um, don't want to, that's fine. Gay's okay, saying it's just, just a little bit slow. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I'm just checking in to see if we're missing anything. So let's take a little commercial break, you guys. Hi, Samantha. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. So you may... <clears throat> you may feel like you might need a little boost. So hydrate. Okay. My voice is choppy and delayed. What the heck? <laughs> Caramely. It's a bit like watching a, Chinese, a Japanese movie. Your mouth doesn't match your words. <laughs> An old Asian movie. So I don't know what to do about that. I, I guess we'll just be reading lips. Um, Good. Brianna says it's good on her end. Okay. So I'm sorry for those of you. 
words and the sound. All right, so let's tune into, let's do a couple deep breaths. And actually, first, we're going to bring in this Jupiter energy. S is working on a fulfilling relationship. Perfect. So let's, um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll see what this Jupiter retrograde energy wants to do. This is going to be our foundation. And I'm hearing that while that's the planet of good luck and fortune and all that, the energy behind it is actually... What I'm hearing is it's all about like manifesting and bringing those things into our life that we want. So I'm not seeing it as just this um, abundance, money, good luck thing, right? I'm seeing it as it overflows into all the other areas, okay? Um, oh, that's Carmely. So just watch. <laughs> if, if my mouth is bothering you, Carmely's just going to listen and not watch it. Perfect. So um, let's bring energy in our endeavors, okay? That's what we're going to call it. It's just a blanket good energy for manifesting. I'm seeing it go under our feet, actually. And there's parts of this Jupiter energy that are going down into the Earth's core and anchoring as it, and then it, I'm literally seeing it floating up, floating up from the bottom of our feet. And it's like, again, I'm seeing, we did this last week too with the water. It's like we're in a bucket of water in a canister of water all around us. And it, this Jupiter energy is rising up and it is going to be water for some of you. I know that really was a nice, that was a nice way to do it last week. We liked that water thing, right? Last week or the week before. So, um, I just realized, am, am I on, I don't even know if I'm on, I'm assuming I'm on my business page, but you guys let me know. All right. So, um, okay, Terry's got the first, oh, his intention is to finish the first draft of his Mayan garden book. Perfect. Okay. Um, a couple more deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. I'm just seeing this Jupiter energy continue to rise uh, up our torso. And I'm getting the sense that it's, it's like it's grabbing and energetically it's grabbing other things, other energies to it and pulling in. This is a very personalized, whatever you are needing, you're feeling that as it's going. You're feeling, I'm feeling it for you. I don't know if you're feeling it, so let me know. But um, I'm feeling just, it's picky. It's, they're little, they're small. I'm not getting a definitive like what it is, but I'm feeling other alignments of other energies that you are needing. So um, welcome to the first time, Brianna. We do this every week. Um, Carmelie's feeling a golden orange light. Cool. Um, Brianna's is to find happy, happiness, peace, and acceptance. Okay. Good. So I'm just going to watch this Jupiter energy. It's going up our necks and our faces and out the top of our heads. So technically, I guess we're not in that container anymore if we were. So it's enveloped all of us and it is expanding. I'm what I'm seeing under our feet is like miles. It's like miles away from us under our feet. And it's got this real grounding uh, feeling and purpose to it. So just kind of sink your feet into that. See how that feels to be supported by this Jupiter energy, um, this Think of the open, infinite possibilities. Tell yourself that the ideas that you have are possible. Tell yourself to get ideas and make an announcement. If, if you're wanting ideas, maybe some of you aren't, but, you know, if you're kind of wanting ideas or next steps, things to do, then kind of invite that in. So the way I'm seeing it is energetically from, from our grounding, we have 
this Jupiter energy being our support and our foundation, and it's pulling up Earth energy as well. The um, Jupiter energy is expanding out underneath us. So it's almost like anywhere we walk, anywhere we go, we're supported by this energy. And then it's lifted up inside of us and hit all, all of us energetically inside our physical body and our energetic body and our auric field. And then it's coming out the top of our head to go be released into the universe is the way I'm seeing it. So this is kind of a real powerful um, like addition to the energy that we carry, the ideas that we have, the growth that we want. Um, again, it is specific also for the luck, abundance, good fortune. However, it's spilling out into other areas. Kitty says, I need more grounding energy this week to manifest a new job or expand my company. Yes. And also, Katie, for you, you know, I always get extra. Um, I don't know. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the word consistency, and I'm seeing kind of like, you know, just do it. That doesn't mean go wear your Nike shoes. Ha ha. But, like, there's action. There's some action that you can take, too. And maybe that's a little scary. I'm getting the sense that's a little might be a little scary. So um, yeah, something about like thinking outside the box too. I know that's come up for you a couple other times with it in regards to your business stuff. So yeah, okay, good. So let's go ahead and start the intention setting process. Okay, so let's. Whether you've um, shared them in the comments or not, that's totally fine. Um, let's go ahead and tap into those and start the energy activation behind those. So we're going to, <clears throat> I'm just going to do a quick little alignment check-in for everybody on their intention, which of course they're laughing at me like, we don't have to do that. Okay. Okay. We stopped doing that a long time ago, but for some reason today I felt like somebody might have needed it, but I guess not. Okay, a couple deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Our first step is we're going to go through ignite each intention. So we're going to basically put the energy, you know, put it... Put the money where our mouth is. We're going to put the energy where our intention is. Okay, we're going to put the energy behind what we are wanting. So we're lighting it up. We are igniting it. We're turning it on. We are starting the process of sending it out to the universe to be attracted to. Okay, to attract from and attract to. All righty. So that feels really good. How's everybody feeling? Is anybody feeling it? What are you feeling, if anything? I'm kind of seeing it go off, everybody's intention go off like sparklers, firework sparklers. Carmelie's still working and keeping my distance more now. Wow. Yeah. You might really like that. Um, Lee Harris energy report for May, Carmeli, that might really resonate with you because another, the thing that resonated for me with the friendship thing is that um, the shadow work is happening right now. Granted, that's partly, I think, Pluto too, right? Transformation and growth, but the shadow work is coming out and um, we, peacemakers and the nice people, we can't just be nice anymore. We have to speak our truth. I'm paraphrasing. But that part was really interesting to me because I spoke my truth about some, they weren't even, I mean, it was just weirdo stuff that like, I didn't know about, like I wasn't told. And I was like, why don't I know this? Like if we're best friends, like, why don't I know about this? And I spoke up about it. I was just kind of like, I was concerned. And I also, um, I sense patterns and energy and shifts and stuff like that. So I kind of started with one of the friends I started tying it back to all these other times that it had happened when I found out later certain things and I'm like just it was off right so what what Lee Harris talks about is there's the shadow work that's coming up so um what I feel happened in my situation is 
by me speaking up and speaking my truth and not just, because I debated, like, should I even say anything about this or just let it go or what am I going to do? And I was like, ah, I'm going to go ahead and try to talk about it. <laughs> well, that blew up in my face. But when I listened to his, um, is why I wasn't, I was speaking up. situation couldn't handle it and whatever. So it's done now. So, um, I just got the hit that might be helpful for you. Um, Brianna, do it wrong. So you're totally doing it right. Yeah. Thank you, Carmelie. <laughs> what? I, yeah, it's different for all of you. So when you, um, whatever you're feeling, then. Um, you might feel hot, you might feel cold. Those are typical energy releasing or shifting type of um, things that could happen. Or like Brianna, you're feeling it in your back, a tightness feeling. So that's good information for you. You might release it from that area if you always have back issues in that area. Um, Katie's saying, my friend told me to do videos on Instagram. That's scary, but videos there. Um, Terry saying he feels like he's back on his path. Good. Um, well, and Terry, what I'm getting on you is there's that shift that's coming from you writing and putting everything together and there's this collating and there's this um, kind of a linear-ish path of sorts with your like to me, it feels like your knowledge and your experience. And so being able to put that all together and let it flow forward. Now it's like, that's what I see happening for you is this movement, right? Um, no sound now? Anybody? I didn't do anything, but scroll up. Can everybody hear me or... Okay. As the sound is on. Thank you. Okay. Good. Yep. If you ever have any issues, just go back out and come back in. So sorry, you guys. Okay. All right. Let's continue with the next step, which is let's expand it. So we're taking it and we're literally expanding this um, ignited intention. Okay. Okay. Good. So if you want to visualize this, you can literally just visualize it growing. Now, when we do the expansion piece, um, we're doing it to whatever you need. Okay, this whole thing is, but it's whatever you're needing. So I'm going, I don't know, you know, my internet was kind of hanging up earlier. So maybe that was part of the problem. I'm out in the sticks. Okay, so if you need to envision that, you can see your intention all lit up, growing, growing big, big, big in all directions, okay? So um, I forgot to actually pull this in, so we're doing it now. We're using our citrine in conjunction with the Jupiter energy, okay? Even though we already did the Jupiter energy. No reason why we can't just throw it in there now, the citrine. Um, so that'll be in a little extra boost if any of you are working on abundance, just FYI. All right. So let's expand that out. Okay, now that it's expanded and we're magnifying it out and it's out into the universe. And what that means is this huge intention now with all this energy behind it and this intention behind it, you know, pun intended, now out in the universe and what it is connecting with like things in order to bring it to people, situations, experiences, aha moments, um, ideas, whatever that is, 
to help move you forward. Like Katie, yours is the perfect example of your friend saying go on Instagram. <laughs> like you would not, not have thought of it and you probably didn't necessarily want it. But what is a quick little 10 second, 15 second video of you showing your jewelry or explaining the bath bombs or something, right? So video is definitely what everybody loves. Um, all righty. So again, this expansion, this magnifying is actually, you know, perfect. However big and out there it needs to be, it is for you, okay? How's everybody feeling? Brenna, how's your back? How's your back feeling? Has that shifted at all? So what that could have also meant is with this energy shifting, it was um, having you notice that area of your back um, because that could have been where you were holding things, if that makes sense, where you could have been holding um <clears throat> The energy for that specific whatever whatever we're working with right now I know the whatever that you know it's kind of a blanket good term all right let's take a little commercial break and um, tell me how your feeling is happening Brand is feeling a little better. Good. Very good. Very good. Glad to hear it. So a couple deep breaths and we'll just kind of close out here. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to, what I'm going to do go going forward is schedule pr probably one extra have a whole list of all of the healings that we uh, talked about when all this started, the world events. So I'm going to work through that list and we're going to tap, tap in as well and do a um, Jupiter retrograde, a Saturn retrograde, and a Venus retrograde. Those energies to help support us with what we're doing in those areas. And then... Um, as the saying, feeling good, thinking about my intention for manifesting. Yep. You're having a boot camp effect. Everything seems possible. Perfect. Amazing results in the um, stash the cash, which is basically closed now. Um, I thought I could keep it open longer, but um, it's, it's too hard if you've missed the first. We've done two energy healings, and now we're heading into the beliefs. So... Um, it would be too hard to join now, but I'm, I am going to hold it again. And I thought it was funny, not funny, um, Estha, that this that we started it and then now Jupiter retrograde hit. So I think there's something to that. Maybe I'll definitely hold it again during uh, Jupiter retrograde so we can pull in those energies. That would be fun to do. So anyway, we're having fun over there. Lots of shifts. Um, anyway, so just I'm going to be scheduling these lives and I best guess I better figure out video <laughs> better figure out how we're doing video for these since my video it's telling me Facebook told me my browser was old and I went into my browser and it was the current version so I don't know what's going on they've changed something so I might have to use a different browser anyway that is all the technical stuff so let's do I don't even know what time it is let me check oh, okay good we're breezing through so let, does any, I guess let's do, let's do some, <clears throat> let's do some psychic readings. If you have any questions, let's do some of that because that's fun. Hi Seema, welcome. We just, we just finished up, but we had some tech trouble, but, um, I don't know. How, how everybody's doing so let me know how everybody's doing and um if you have any questions that you would like some guidance on we're going to do about 10 minutes of psychic readings for you if you have anything that you want help with insight on let me know um 
the Ignite Your Intuition group will soon be changing into more of a soul-based group with intuition in it. So I'll be posting um, a couple things in the Ignite Your Intuition group about like how we want to move forward. So be watching for those posts if you want to participate on those and get some feedback. Um, we've been doing a lot of uh, intuition practice posts and I want to change those up a little bit and I'll explain why when we get there, but that's just kind of one of the things happening. Hi, Lena. Seema did the release last weekend. It really helped with the healing process. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm glad you did that so you can be feeling better. Perfect. Um, I feel like I was going to check. I've been so busy with the with the staff. It was a check-in on what happened last week, what we did, I think. Right? I can't even remember. All of them just kind of, um, they kind of, uh, what's the word? I can't remember which week is which. Yeah. Um, events are coming and then the change to the group we're actually going to be starting a new group why because let's just start with some completely new like 2020 energy right that old group has been around for almost three years and there's a lot of people in it that just joined it and never participated and all of that and what i'm wanting to do is create like really the roar star community of just people who are really you know working on their spiritual journey and their path and um, they're wanting, you know, the support, they're wanting to tap into their intuition, they're wanting to um, do that kind of work, like they're, they're, they're doing their work, basically. Susan says, I reached out to a hiring manager for a job. Are you getting anything in that or any job insights? I'm, I was just thinking about you um, this morning or yesterday, Susan, because I just, I was tapping into your whole job thing and I just couldn't figure out what was going on, um, with that. Okay. <laughs> I was just about, I was just about to go sit right by the router. <clears throat> yeah. I, it just told me my internet connection wasn't very good, you guys. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, so back to Susan and her job. Um, there's something, and I know we even did a healing on this, so I really don't understand. I'd need to look into your job thing a little bit more because there's obviously something else going on energetically that's keeping you from getting all these jobs. Because every time you say, this job, that job, I get a yes. Today I'm actually getting neutral. I'm not getting anything either way about this job. For you so I'm sorry about that Terry where are you this winter where am I this winter <laughs> meaning you um, I do you have some choices for me I don't I don't really feel like you're going to be anywhere anywhere new um, just do like I think travel is so up in the air right now like I'm trying to figure out well my friend just sent me a bunch of stuff on Mexico, though, like, they're all about tourism, right? So they're opening up, they're not really taking, you know, they're not taking precautions, they're not really, I don't, I have don't quote me, because I haven't read the, re read the reports yet, but they're opening back up because tourism is their bread and butter, so, yeah, I'm supposed to go, you know, get back there pretty soon to get my teeth fixed, so, I don't see, I mean, I, I, I guess when I asked Terry, could you be in the U.S.? I get a yes somewhere in the U.S., like somewhere warm. I know you go to Florida sometimes, so I don't, I don't know. Some of, some of this stuff, when I'm not getting a, like my usual, like, oh, here's where I see you. I think things are just so uncertain right now. If you have certain places you want me to ask about, I will. Um, Callie says, I'm excited. My intuition has been a lot better with the practices and my other friend's energy group. Awesome. I love it. 
Um, yeah, sorry about that, Susan. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining in. I'm sorry about the internet. Um, I might have to camp out right by the router and do something new next time. I don't know what's going on and get my browser fixed for Facebook. So thank you so much for joining in. Have a super good day. Um, keep tabs on the page or the event section for the upcoming um, stuff that we're going to do because I have my whole list. So I'm just going to schedule it all out. Okay, so. Take care, have fun, keep roaring, and I will talk to you later.